The green country is really living up to its name along highways throughout Tulsa County, and it's a growing danger for drivers. Reporter Corley Peel went to work to find out why no one is mowing the overgrown grass. Corley? Well, Brian and Karen, I'm standing in the middle of the grass on I-44, and I stand about five, three and a half. And as you can see, this grass is taller than me. One driver told me today the overgrown grass is dangerous for drivers. This is the worst I've noticed it. Larry Howe says the grass along Highway 412 is so high he can barely see oncoming traffic. You have to really push your vehicle out far enough to make sure nobody's coming. ODOT officials say it's not that crews aren't mowing, it's that grass is growing faster than they planned. They say you can thank the recent rains for that. Because uh, you can't go into areas where it's very wet because that can damage the right of way or equipment. ODOT is only required to mow along the state highway to the frontage road. Then from the frontage road to a fence line or sound wall is the city of Tulsa's responsibility. Right now our crews are mowing on areas along the interdispersal loop and also along Highway 169 and they will be in the I-44 corridor next week. ODOT officials say it could take about a month for crews to finish mowing the highways in Tulsa County. Howell says he hopes the grass is mowed soon before something dangerous happens. I hope they get with it. First in Tulsa, Grizzly Field Tours. The city of Tulsa is finishing up its last mowing cycle for the year, and it's beginning its 2017 fiscal mowing cycle on July 1st. In Tulsa, Quilly Peel, two works for you.